The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is presented by Millennium Physician Group, your connection to a healthier life. Jacksonville media mogul Dan Hicken here with you, ready to give you this weekend's run out of all things Jacksonville sports going on this upcoming weekend. Let's start, of course, with our Jacksonville Jaguars, who are now off. Okay, all right, look, we're off. We're done. Players disperse. We don't want any headlines. Want all good news, all feel good heading into training camp on July 27th. But some interesting news from the NFL as they have determined that they're going to let cities, NFL cities, bid on not just the Super Bowl, which we've had here and probably won't have anytime soon, not just the draft, which we could have here, but also the Combine, which has been in Indianapolis every year. Look, it'd be great to host a Combine here in Jacksonville. And we do have the facilities, as long as they build their practice facility, which they're planning on doing, uh, this wouldn't be start until 2023. So maybe an NFL Combine in Jacksonville. That would be something fun, right? Uh, by the way, Jaguar fans, how do you feel about your football team? Are you... Look, there's, there's, there's hope, and it's going to be fun watching Trevor Lawrence and Urban Meyer, but there's got to be a lot more to that if this team is going to be successful and win football games. We've got some Gator recruiting news for you as well. Uh, dead period closing a few weeks ago. Dan Mullen and the Gators have been active since. In fact, since we last talked, the Gators have added a, a big-time recruit, their second-highest-rated prospect in the entire class, and they got him from Alabama, and he chose – Ah, Florida over Alabama. His name is Shamar James, and he is a four-star linebacker, and it's a good get for Florida, right? I mean, we don't know a ton about him. He's from Mobile. He's a good football player, but bottom line is that whenever you beat out Alabama, that's the next step. That's what Florida has to do. They've got to win some recruiting battles with the big boys. they got to beat Georgia for this kid. they got to beat Alabama for that guy. I think if Dan Mullen can add some more four and five, we know he can coach. We know he can develop. He's got to recruit. If he recruits those higher ones, well, watch out. That same day, they also got a very fast kid uh, from Orlando, a receiver, Chandler Smith. And they even got a kicker, a highly rated kicker. You know, who knows what kickers, but they got their kicker. He's out of Maryland, and he's got a great name, Trey Smack. Hopefully, he doesn't smack the upright. 2022, not the fastest start for recruiting, but Mullen getting things going. All right, also, before we get out of here, Tokyo's coming up, right? The Olympics, and the Summer Olympics are awesome. They're, they're appointment television. You watch them all the time. Well, let's talk about some of the local guys who are going. Congratulations to our guys. We got Ryan Murphy, who will feature in an up, upcoming uh, Hometown Heroes podcast. We've got Garrett Scantling, who's made it in the decathlon. And we got Caleb Dressel from Clay County. So Ryan, by the way, is a world record holder in the 100-meter backstroke. He's already won three gold medals. Caleb Dressel has won gold medals. And, and Ryan uh, Garrett Scantling, is the number one, was finished first in the uh, decathlon for the United States. So they're all headed to Tokyo. We wish them well. We're proud of them as a community. Well, that's all we got today. Ladies and gentlemen, kick back, enjoy the weekend. And we'll talk to you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports. <laughs>